Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This is Katie here and I am actually doing a series now which is that I recreate a makeup from my past and for this one it is going to be my junior year prom and it was actually recommended to me by my dear friend Sarah who's been my friend for many many years and she was like I get my makeup professionally done I have a friend who does it and I was like you know the only time I ever got my makeup professionally done was when I went my junior prom and so I, I was like she didn't really do what I wanted you have the makeup skills now redo it the way that you want it to be done so here I am uh, so you get to if you want to know how to make this, go ahead and keep watching. Start off with our Primey Primes, and we are going to be using Baby Skin by Maybelline. I am obsessed with this primer right now, and I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna like change. If you have any more primer recommendations for like combination skin towards more drier skin, please let me know. That for big ass pores, because I have big ass pores. So I guess um, I'll explain uh, my dress because I still have it and it's over there and I am currently still that size so I can still wear it. I have two foundations that this could work with but I think we're going to go with the Instamake because it's more natural and it's not more like a, like a face, you know? So we're going to go with this one. Um, we're just going to do one, two pumps. Yeah two pumps because I did never put on like foundation until I was like 20 years old. Uh, I think this was the very first time I ever wore foundation which was insane because now I can't even imagine doing my makeup without foundation although I'm assuming when I go back to work when I do I'm probably gonna just do my eye makeup and my brows and go maybe put a little bit of highlighter on because why put foundation on when you can't even see it? All right, so my dress was from Lane Bryant and um, actually my mom didn't want to buy me it, but I saw it and I was just stunned. I was like, that's my dress. That's the dress I want. That is my dress. And growing up, we didn't have a lot of money. We still don't have a lot of money. Um, not to, you know, be, take your pity, but Essentially, we didn't have a lot of money for clothes or anything, so that's why now when I have my own money, I'm very expressive in what I wear. Not right now, obviously, but I'm really expressive with my style, and I'm very, you know, into doing different sub-styles because I wasn't able to explore them when I was growing up. I could only afford, like, a t-shirt and jeans, so now that I can expand my wardrobe, I do. So when I saw that dress, my mom didn't think that she could afford it. At the same time, we were also shopping for my maid of honor dress for my sister's wedding. I'm gonna, that's gonna be the next video, by the way. So if you're watching this in the future, go watch that video. Um, and so my sister's colors were red. And red is actually my favorite color, so I was really, really excited. But the dress she wanted was pretty plain. And I actually used it for my senior prom dress. But it wasn't just, it wasn't my prom dress, you know? Like it wasn't the dress that I wanted to wear to represent me in my very first like kind of Yule Ball moment kind of thing, I was I always explain it to me. And so at first I was very like defeated that I wasn't gonna get what I wanted. And then my sister took my mom aside, you know, cause she saw how happy I was in that dress, right? And she was like, she never gets any of this stuff and she like convinced my mom to get me this dress and since then I have worn it extensively and I have never gone back like my mom has never regretted getting me this dress because she's like you definitely wear it I wore it to my graduation I wore it I still wear it like as when I can I usually pull it out because it's still a beautiful dress and it's very timeless like it hasn't gone out of style I feel like a lot of people for their prom dresses are like, oh my god, how could I wear that? Like that, how could I wear that? That's like so outdated. But for me, it's timeless. It's beautiful and I still love it. And I hope to still love it, you know, until it doesn't fit anymore. And hopefully it fits better in the future with losing more weight. So let's hope so. Um, so I am using the Instabay concealer and the foundation. I really, really like them, and I think that they work really well together. However, considering this is a prom look, I am going to be using Air Sponge to set it all. Our class, we were the ones who actually planned it, 
and it was, well, the senior year people, they were really obsessed with Star Wars because Star Wars is amazing. But, uh, so we were like, okay, how do we make this fancy? Because the location was Wrigley Mansion. Here's a picture of that, which is this gorgeous, like, you know, mansion to have a prom at. It's a gorgeous location. Um, very, very cool. Very, very cool location. We're like, how do we make these two, like, mix? So, you know, we were going to do something that was more fitting to the location, but in the end we were like, no, this is their senior prom, let's do something that they like. I wish that happened with our prom and senior year, but you know, you do what you can. So we decided on Galaxy, and anybody who knows me knows that I am obsessed with galaxies. Um, I was almost, almost an astronomy major. I almost did that, but I was like, eh, too much science. Too much science. So, that is what the theme was. I wasn't on the prom committee. People asked me to be on the prom committee. In high school, I was more so concerned with watching anime and dicking around with my friends. So, Rochelle and I basically got dressed together. Um, we basically got... We went to the same stylist kind of thing, um, you know, so we could have it together. And I had the Pinterest board of what I wanted to look like and what I wanted my makeup to look like. And I got my hair done and it was in the typical style at that time, which was like the bump and then the curls around it. I don't, I don't know why I always wanted to do that style. Like I don't even like it today. Yeah, that was the style I wanted. And my hair is like one of the worst hair to ever style. That's why I wear so many Darren wigs because it's fine and it just, it's, it's also straight. So it never holds a curl. Like even with like the, the most intense like hairsprays, it never holds, like it never holds. So that's always bad. Like I remember the curls came out while we were on the way to the prom that was cool oh yeah by the way i didn't have a date to the prom um i didn't start dating until my early 20s i went to an art school and there were like not a lot of boys it was a, it was a very small school and it was uh there wasn't a lot of boys it was mostly girl populated so a lot of us like didn't get dates which you know whatever right you know you can still go to prom with your best friends and have a great time which is what i did so we went, we got our hair done, we, I got my makeup done, I don't think Rochelle got her makeup done, I think her mom did her makeup, and I also got my nails done, which I hated those nails, and also this is before, I just got my nails painted, like I didn't have nails like I do today, which I really wish I probably would have, I would have looked a lot better, but again, as I'm about to tell you, like, this night really wasn't about me, like this is a story about something else that happened at the prom. So we're on our way to the prom. We're both like, you know, Rochelle doesn't really want to be there. Um, I'm nervous because I'm like, I don't know what to expect. You know, I've heard all the crazy stories in media about going to the prom and what happens at the prom. And I'm just like, oh no, what's going to happen? You know, nothing to you, boo boo, <laughs> is what I probably should have said. So we get to the prom, we find our friend. Um, I don't know if I should tell, I mean, I'm going to talk about this friend, but I don't know. I'm not going to call them by their name, so I'm just going to name them something else. Let's name them Magmar. So Magmar goes to the, so Magmar is our best friend at that time. Uh, Magmar is still friends with Michelle, but not friends with me. We had a falling out senior year. And so Magmar is in this beautiful dress that was actually her mother's who passed away, or their mother's who passed away. And it is a beautiful, beautiful dress. And I, I don't know, I don't, I hope they never see this, but if they do, you looked beautiful on that night. And they were with our friend at the time. Let's not have his name either. Um, that's a good Pokemon to call him. Groudon. So Groudon was our friend at the time, and he was really tall and lanky, and he was very Christian, and they were dates, even though they were like a friend date, you know? So 
it was, you know, you know, Rochelle and I kind of didn't care um, at the time. We were like, you know, whatever. Rochelle and I are here together. It's, it's whatever. We lived, like, so close to each other at the time. We lived, like, right down the street from each other. So it was really, really, it was really cool. And I think we did a sleepover after the prom, too. So it was really cool to have her the whole night. Um, so we get into the Wrigley Mansion. The Wrigley Mansion is beautiful. Like, it is a gorgeous place. And if you're able to go, if you ever come to Arizona, definitely do. It's a sight to be had. And I, like, was, it was I was taken back because it had that galaxy theme. It had the blues, it had the purples. And the only thing that sucked is that they didn't actually have real food. They only had candy. They had a whole candy bar. And I don't think I ate anything that day because I was like, oh, I need to fit in my prom dress, you know? So it was... It, it was sucks that I only ate candy that day, but it was fine. The music was awesome, and I remember both of my prom years, I brought slippers in my bag, like these, these uh, sequinted slippers, because I knew that I was not a heel person. I probably should have just worn flats or something, but you know, I wanted to be comfortable. The cool thing is though, is that nobody judged me for wearing those at all. Like, they were very, very supportive. I was like, I love your slippers. And I'm like, thank you. Like, everybody was really supportive, which was great. Um, so I'm going into blush right now, and I'm dipping into the Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Palette. And I'm dipping into the shade 24-Hour um, Champagne Diet, which is this color right here, which is very, very beautiful. And the rest of my routine that I've been doing, you all know the routine. You all know the routine. Watch another one of my videos. I explain everything. I explain. Mm, as far as this blush, um, I don't know. Like, I've used it with all of their products. Like, I've used it with the, I've used it with the foundation, the concealer, and I've also used it with the, uh, the foundation, the concealer, and the powder all together. And it just, it sat weird on it, and you could see like the texture of my foundation. But now when I use the air sponge, it like, it, it doesn't show that texture at all. So I wonder if like this blush palette doesn't work with their own products. The entire night, Rochelle and I were basically just eating candy and that was it. And there was also a cool feature that was, instead of like just having a normal like photographer who took your pictures, the how you took your pictures was you uh, had this like little clicker thing and then you could take it yourself. So I so I would have, I have a lot of great pictures from that prom because you could just do it anytime and then you could get the photos for free on their website. So it was really, really cool service. I really wish we had done that the next year because the next year photos, oof, they, they are not flattering towards your girl. But, you know, it's... It was a really cool feature, so I have a lot of great memories, a lot of great photos, and a lot of great things where I like look back and I'm like, who's that person again? I don't think we had highlighter back in the day, but look at that highlight. Mmm. I'm going into the Beauty Bakery's Milk and Honey palette for their um, highlight palette, and oh my god, this is so great. If you are a honey kissed, um, if you have a darker skin tone like myself, a kind of just not completely white white. This is the palette for you, Mamacita. This is great for the dark honeys like myself. So I am very, very happy with this palette. So it's a really cool event. Like I remember the colors were really like space-like and I remember the decorations were really space-like. Like like our grade did a great job with our prom. Like it looked amazing. It looked amazing. And I remember it was a slow dance and Rochelle and I, this was by the time that I had taken off my heels and I had put on my slippers when there was a slow song that came on and Groudon and Magmar were here as a date and I was like, and they were just friends, okay, they were just there as friends, but I was like, maybe you should like go and do the, the thing, you know, go and, and do the slow dance. So they go and do the slow dance while... Rochelle and I are just stuffing our faces, like, just eating all the candy as we can, stuffing it in our purses. <laughs> like, that's just how we roll. This is how we roll. We're just, like, 
when was the last time you had a sugar stick? Like, when was the last time you had this candy girl? Yeah, we were just, we were having our great time, you know? So, it sucks because Groudon confessed to Magmar during the dance, uh, the slow dance, and I remember it was being like a big, big thing, you know, high school drama, oh my god. I can't believe he did that to her. She didn't like him back. So sad. You know, that kind of thing. I remember it just being like such a big deal and it really wasn't like we made it more of a big deal than it was. So there was this beautiful view like outside Wrigley Mansion. We were only like in a part of a mansion, like the ballroom and everything. And then there was this like outdoor area where you could see the whole view of like Arizona. It's so beautiful. And so Groudon went out there to go sulk and I rudely interrupted our friend Mimikyu when he was with his girlfriend at the time. And I was like, hey Mimikyu, can you go help Groudon? Um, he just got, you know, he just confessed his feelings to the girl that he liked and she did not like him back whatsoever. And so Mimikyu went out there and you know, we both kind of like worked off of each other and he, Mimikyu really made Groudon feel better and got him back inside and I should have apologized to Mimikyu and if you're watching this Mimikyu, I apologize for taking you away from your date at prom um, and thank you for helping ground on in his time of need. I remember also Magmar was just like, dude, like, like everybody knew that Groudon liked Magmar, but like Magmar was just very mad at Groudon because like, it's like, why are you ruining my prom? because um, Groudon was a year younger than us. Like, it was, he was a grade younger than us, so he wasn't even supposed to be at this prom, and Magmar just kind of brought him as a friend. So, like, Magmar was, like, really, really shaken, but eventually they calmed down, and they were like, okay. So then we got back to dancing, taking more photos, and, you know, just having a ball of a night. It, it, was, a, it was a very fun prom. I remember dancing a lot. Um, to those, those like beats at that day, you know, very, very cool, very, very cool night and things like that. So the shade I'm turning into is Fine China from the Blue Moon palette from Colourpop. And I am using this as the base because this is actually the color of my dress. So I'm going to go in here. I have, I have that, which is, uh, uh, my inspiration that I found on my Pinterest board. However... I, I don't know if I want to do that because I have my own makeup style now and I'm not so sure. So that was basically our prom. I know it's not big and major like a lot of other people's, but for us it was a huge big deal because then like after that, Magmar and Groudon were never the same and to this day, Groudon still wants to be friends with Magmar. Uh, Magmar and I aren't friends anymore, but I know for a fact that he still wants to be friends with Magmar and Groudon has not such got back into that trust. So because of that, Magmar never trusted Groudon again, it seemed to me. So that was fun. Meanwhile, Rochelle and I were just stuffing our faces. We're the real heroes in this story. We didn't get into boy drama in high school. We just kind of stuffed our faces and watched anime and did K-pop dances and listened to Shiny. That was, and that was basically our high school, which honestly, we're the real heroes in that story, honestly. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have asked, like, if you could have redone your prom, what would you do? And if I could have redone my prom, I think what I would have done is I would have not gotten into that drama and I was kind of probably not taking Mimikyu out of that drama uh, or just like not taking Mimikyu from his girlfriend and like made Groudon like been more supportive towards Magmar I think because I was more worried about the broken heart of Groudon because I had known for because they were both my friends and I feel like I should have more so comforted like Magmar instead of Groudon because I feel like Groudon should have known, like, what was going on. I should have been there for both of my friends instead of just one. And I, I regret that. Oh, yeah, so I'm going into the shade Clued In from the Blue Moon palette just to darken everything up. And I, I regret that. I regret not being there for both of them. 
I feel like I think the only reason I did is because like I know my friends are beautiful people. Like they are beautiful people. Like I'm not gonna show a picture of Magmar because we're not friends anymore, but beautiful person. Like just a beautiful person in general. And I understand the ramifications of having your heart broken because I am such person who has had my heart broken by such people, you know? So I kind of just like, I know she's, I know they're beautiful. I know they're amazing persons. I know they're like my best friends. I know. And I kind of just want to like, kind of help comfort the blow from them, I guess. But it still doesn't make any excuses for not being there for both of your friends. And that's the one thing I regret is not being there for both of my friends. I guess you could say also just kind of not enjoying my prom as much as I should have, I guess you could say, as well, because I was more so worried about my friends' feelings and not my own. I guess that's just me as a person. I kind of, at that time, and I guess still now, is I more so care about my friends than I do myself. And it gets me hurt every single time. Every single time. Okay, so already this is completely different than my Pinterest board thing. But honestly, I like it a lot more. Um, it's, it's more me. I guess you could say. It's weird. If I'm gonna do this series, it's gonna be a lot of blue. Because for some reason, I always was like, blue eyeshadow. Like, that was my biggest hurdle as a makeup artist. Was I was always like you need to do blue eyeshadow your blue eyeshadow is where you that you need to dedicate your time when really i should have been dedicating my time to doing brown because i had no right to be doing colors at that time we're gonna do a big we're gonna do a big one we're gonna blow it out we're gonna cut the crease a lot we're gonna do a big one big cut crease like that we're cutting that crease like huge. We gonna make a big cut case because we can. And it's a great idea to actually um, put down a shade before you put the glitter on top of it because it's just, uh, because glitter chips off throughout the day. And if you don't have a base under it, it looks bad. So I'm going into Lumi, which is a beautiful shade. I use it as a highlight sometimes it's a really pretty shade and I am packing that on top of the cut crease beautiful glitter glue chunky glitter in the inner corner which has inflex trust the process Are you scared that your prom is gonna get canceled this year um, did you want to cosplay during your <laughs> freaking thing like I would want to do if you did you were like a freaking legend and I love you but yeah, my, my prom was fun. I, I had a great time. Even though I didn't eat that day, I still had a great time. And I still remember like stuffing my face with her shell. And anytime you get to spend time with your best friend um, that's not at school is always a good time. Despite the drama with people that I shouldn't have got my nose into, it was still a great time. And I'm really, really happy that I'm really really happy that I went. I know a lot of people don't go unless they have a date and I would say you need to, you should go. Even if you don't like dances, even if you don't like to dance, you can still stuff your face with your best friend and that's all that really matters because you get that experience because you're never gonna have it again. Like even if it's a bad experience you still have an experience. Okay so we're going into the chunky glitter and we're putting it on the inner corner. And we're putting it in the down here in the corner, like the lower inner corner, to give that brightness. Okay, so we're going into the ColourPop Fresh Look little liners that I just got. I did not, I wanted to put them in my ColourPop review, but I could not because they were all sold out. So as soon as they came back in stock, I needed them in my life because I don't really like doing black in my waterline anymore. I like doing I like doing a color because it opens up the eye. Okay, and then here it is. 
And here's my prom dress. Uh, I'm not gonna show a full angle because I don't wanna put on heels and, uh, but yeah, I put on a wig uh, because I didn't wanna do my hair. Um, I feel like if I go back in time to my prom, I would most likely put on a wig instead of actually doing my hair. It would've been a lot cheaper to buy like a $20 wig and, instead of doing my hair. I chose this wig because this is what my hair looks like right now, it's this color. So I thought, you know, if I did have a wig, this is what it would be. But yes, this is amazing. I am very, very happy. I put on some accessories. I would be so happy to go to prom like this. I'd be so happy. Um, so yeah, if you guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, go ahead and hit the dislike button twice. If you like me, please subscribe for more quality ass content and hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload. Um, but yeah guys, I will see y'all in the next video. Stay safe out there.